weather. Here is Chief Meteorologist Chase Jones. Well, it was a pretty busy week of weather, and we're still tracking some of those dry conditions pointing you out to the north as we see some of that cloud cover make its way in from the north, even though those winds are out of the south. And that's where we're going to see some of those humid temperatures and some of those warmer temperatures as we make our way into a pretty busy but warm weekend as well. Now, we're tracking those temperatures overnight because they're set to drop another 10 degrees by the beginning of next weekend, getting all the way down into those upper 60s. Look how we fight back and forth. That's where those strong southerly winds made their way in around 3 this morning. Then we drop all the way down to 63, and then we level out there at 95 and we're already cooling off because sunset just keeps getting earlier and earlier. We're already down about an hour and 45 minutes from this summer. We're losing tons of daylight every day. 93 in San Angelo. Everybody else in the mid to lower 90s. I know Griff is out there right now. We said talking about some of those cooler temperatures around kickoff. About 90 degrees. Still pretty warm as we get ready to send the rest of the KSAN team out there with them. 87 in Sterling City. 92 down there in Junction. Pretty close to 10 degrees. If you count the 95 in Sonora, it's actually been pretty warm there all week at long. But we're watching those humidity values along with the moisture content. Content. All week, still seeing some of those dry conditions push in with the humidity indices down there in those teens. Down to the southeast into those 20s, while the humidity indices, excuse me, the dew points are down there in those 40s and those 50s. Now, it's going to take a lot of cold air, which is on its way to see a lot of those dew, if not cloud formations, make their way in. We're talking about the upper level pattern. Look at how big of a mess this is. We're going to watch a strong, long wave trough make its way down across the eastern part of the nation. That'll cool us off. Then off towards the west, we see a little bit of ridging right behind it. A monster storm, and that one could be a little bit of rain. Look how far it's pushing down into Nevada all the way down into California. We're watching an atmospheric river, which is already showing up on the moisture tracker, which we'll get to in a moment. Water vapor imagery showing you how the dry air is being pulled along with what's left of Milton and right behind it. We're seeing some impressive cloud cover start to make its way down. You can already see that cold front pushing through the panhandle. And then a lot of cloud cover near Wyoming and North Dakota where they need the help, but a strong storm moving in offshore. If I move out of the way, look how strong that circulation is just west there of Oregon. We take you into the moisture tracker where we're starting to see some of those cold fronts, those concentrations of blues. That's that atmospheric river really taking aim at the west coast. Usually we see it during the uh, summer, but we're really seeing it pick up here now during the winter. Haley was talking about a, a drier than usual La Nina. Well, that's exactly what it's starting to look like. Down at the surface, we're starting to see that cloud cover fight its way back in. A little bit of convectivity somewhere around Oklahoma, if not New Mexico. Now, as we make our way closer into those football conditions, this is where we're starting to track some of that cloud cover in from the north. This is kickoff. Things looking beautiful by Ram Jam. Still going strong with those warmer temperatures, but keep your eye on some of this convection as we make our way closer towards the end of the week and of course Stephen will have a closer look at all of this activity that's where we're starting to see that spilling of that cold air and that cloud cover somewhere around north of the Concho Valley by Sunday night and by Monday where you're gonna definitely feel it so tonight dropping back down into those lower 60s we'll see if it doesn't get cooler than that then right back here for inside the game and then a beautiful Friday night if you're still going then tomorrow a good run at those upper 90s of course you got Ram Jam then every ASU game is gonna be going on at the same time still holding on to those warm temperatures as we get closer towards the road all 400 and then by Monday Columbus Day a good drop by 10 degrees into those 90s we find ourselves on the other side there by Tuesday for family festival day down another into those upper 80s then by Friday we're tracking some long range rain that could stick around for a while that big storm making its way in off the west coast drops us down into those lower 80s and overnight those overnight lows pushing up somewhere near those lower 60s but we're on the lookout for some of that rain shower activity stay tuned on more for the break you're watching KSAN News at 6.